Good afternoon, doctors, um, and welcome to a new um, guideline video. Um, today we're going to read the Hinakshalai Berbura HSP guideline. Uh, we'll start with the definition. Uh, it's basically vasculitic condition of unknown etiology. Um, typical age group um, between two and eight years old. Um, symptoms and signs. Um, it's um, it presents in a form of rash, perboric rash, raised on extensor surfaces of legs, uh, buttocks and arms with surrounding erythema, uh, gastrointestinal tract, abdominal pain mostly, non-specific abdominal pain. Typically resolves in 72 hours. Uh, if severe or persistent, uh, exclude intussusception. Uh, to think about intussusception in this situation, testicular torsion or uh, pancreatitis. Uh, nausea and vomiting, uh, intestinal hemorrhage, hematemesis, melina, bloody stool, which is rarely, but um, keep, uh, keep it in your mind. Uh, joints, arthralgia, and swelling of large joints, especially ankles and knees, being typically resolved in 24 to 48 hours. Okay, um, renal symptoms uh, in form of microscopic hematuria, which is common, uh, proteinuria can present for six weeks after initial presentation, hypertension, nephrotic syndrome, uh, sorry, nephritic syndrome, uh, hematuria with one or more of the following. So, Hinoxula uh, berbera can be presented uh, in form of nephritic syndrome, uh, which is in form of hematuria with one or more of the following uh, criteria. Uh, uh, hematuria with raised urea and creatinine, uh, or with hypertension, or oligoria um, uh, with hematuria. Okay, uh, nephrotic syndrome as well, proteinuria plus minus edema and hypoalbuminemia. Edema of hands, uh, feet, uh, sacrum, and scrotum. So this is the renal manifestation or presentation of the nuxuline paper, which is very important. I will repeat it again. Um, uh, it could be microscopic hematuria, very common. Proteinuria, which can present for six weeks after the initial presentation. Hypertension, uh, nephritic syndrome, and nephrotic syndrome. Nephritic syndrome, which is hematuria with one or more of the following, raised uh, or high urea and creatinine. Um, hypertension, uh, oligoria, nephrotic syndrome, uh, pre uh, proteinuria, plus minus edema and uh, hypoalbuminemia. Uh, hands, feet, sacrum, and scrotum uh, edema. Uh, what's about the neurological presentation? Headache. Okay, so neurological uh, in form of headache, uh, which is very common, seizures, Paresis, coma, which is uh, rare. Threshold diagnosis in case of Hinoxula and Berpura. Uh, Berpura crash, it could be meningococcemia, clinical diagnosis. Thrombocytopenia, uh, we need to do full blood count. Um, rash looks different. ITB is not vasculitic lesion at all. Uh, Rairal uh, vasculitides. Uh, more uh, difficult to exclude. Differentiation requires review over a period of time, uh, which which um, they are mean in here another um, um, another uh, uh, vasculites, other types of vasculites in, involving the blood vessel. Uh, you need to um, um, differentiate uh, the hinoxial and berbera from these other types of vasculites. Okay, uh, uh, pancreatitis as well, uh, suspect in abdominal pain, um, as hinoxial and berbura patients may come uh, with main presentation of abdominal pain or tummy pain, 
So keep the pancreatitis in mind um, to exclude. So the differential uh, diagnosis of paper crash, meningococcemia, thrombocytopenia, ITB, uh, other, uh, other types of uh, uh, vasculites, um, in case of tummy pain, put pancreatitis in your mind. Uh, investigations in general, basically all patients um, need to do investigations. Uh, blood pressure is very important, urine dipstick as well. If proteinuria, send urine for early morning protein creatinine ratio. Uh, if hematuria, send urine for microscopy. So all patients need to do investigations in here. Blood pressure is crucial. Urine dipstick, very important. Um, uh, uh, if you have got a protein on dipstick, and you send, um, you ask for early morning protein creatinine ratio. Uh, if there's any hematuria, you send a urine for microscopy. Um, what's the other additional investigations in here? Blood test if urine analysis abnormal or diagnosis uncertain. A full blood count and blood film is very important. Urea and electrolyte, uh, albumin. If uh, the patient has fever, uh, you send blood culture and anti and O titer. That's to exclude the post glomerular, the post glomerulonephritis, um, coagulation screen as well, uh, and throat swab. So, this is additional investigations to the uh, basic investigations that we mentioned uh, before. So, again, the additional investigations um, full blood count, blood film urea and electrolyte, electrolyte albumin. Um, if he has a fever, you send blood culture and uh, anti-stipulizing or tether, coagulation screen, and um, throat swab. Uh, what's the immediate management in this situation and uh, the subsequent management? Indications for admission. When are you going to admit a child you are suspecting that he has an actual and um, If he has orchitis, um, or a moderate or severe abdominal pain, uh, that's you're gonna use the score of pain, uh, mild, moderate, or severe. Arthritis involving more than two joints. So in this situation, you're gonna admit him. Uh, proteinuria, uh, clear evidence of gastrointestinal bleeding. Uh, irritability to ambulate. So that's the uh, indications for admission. Again, I will repeat it. Uh, orchitis, moderate or severe abdominal pain, uh, arthritis involving more than two joints, uh, if there's proteinuria, clear evidence of gastrointestinal bleeding, um, inability to ambulate or he cannot stand or walk and he has limping. Um, what's about the joint pain in here? Um, uh, for joint pain, you will um, prescribe for him non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, ibuprofen, the first line in here, use with caution if in an involvement or patient asthmatic. So, if he has renal involvement or high um, urea and creatinine level, it's better to avoid ibuprofen, use something else, uh, other type of painkillers that will not worse the renal function test more and more. And if the patient is asthmatic, it's better to stay away from the ibuprofen. Uh, for the abdominal pain, give prednisolone one milligram per kg per day, maximum 60 milligram per day. Uh, up to two weeks. Uh, so uh, for Tommy pain, prednisolone up to two weeks. Renal involvement not a contra, uh, not a contraindication in here uh, for prednisolone. If severe and persist, um, exclude pancreatitis, intussusception, or spontaneous bowel perforation. Um, then we go to monitoring. Uh, Okay, so how are we gonna monitor this patient? Um, for monitoring, uh, we have uncomplicated HSP. Uh, what does it mean, an uh, uncomplicated HSP? Um, for example, urine analysis 
<clears throat> with one uh, or less uh, blood and protein and normal blood uh, and normal blood pressure. So that's the uncomplicated um, Hinoxula and Purpura. Durant analysis contain a traces of blood less than one plus uh, and uh, um, traces of a protein um, and um, his, no, his blood pressure is normal. So in this situation, there is no hospital follow-up required, but GB follow-up in one to two weeks, um, monthly blood pressure for six months and weekly urine dip sticks uh, at home until urine clear. So this patient or this kind of patient will not uh, follow up in the outpatient clinic in the hospital setting. He will follow up only with his GB, which is the general physician that he's following with up to uh, for, for one or two weeks. And the, the, his GB will do for him um, a blood pressure monitoring every month, up to six months, and um, the urine dipstick every week, once a week until his urine get clear. The other type of patient in here we have um, Okay, and uh, if you have a patient with uh, HSP, with hematuria or proteinuria, more than one plus and, uh, and normal renal uh, function. Okay, so this patient uh, with Hinoxulam uh, Pepera, with hematuria or proteinuria, but in here, um, more than one plus and a normal renal function. Um, you will manage him as above with his uh, GB plus routine follow-up in children outpatient. So this kind of patient will follow up with his GB and with, in the outpatient clinic in the hospital. Uh, okay, uh, refer to a nephrologist. Um, when you are happy to refer him to the nephrologist, um, we will read this together now. Um, if uh, the urine analysis uh, showing blood or early morning protein, uh, more than one plus after six months, okay, so that's persistent proteinuria beyond six months in his urine analysis. Uh, macroscopic hematuria or heavy proteinuria at presentation, okay? Uh, so this is macroscopic. It's not, which is which is normal with Hinoxula uh, and Barbara is microscopic hematuria. But if you have got macroscopic hematuria or heavy proteinuria uh, 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 in the early presentation, you have to refer him to the nephrologist immediately. Uh, hypertension as well is a, a very big indication uh, to refer significant proteinuria, early morning urine protein creatinine ratio more than 100 gram per millimole or three plus proteinuria for um, three days, uh, impaired renal function. Okay, so these are the, the uh, indications to refer to the nephrologist. Again, quickly, um, if the urine analysis show blood or uh, early, early morning protein more than one plus uh, beyond six months of follow-up, macroscopic hematuria or heavy proteinuria at the presentation, uh, hypertension, significant proteinuria, uh, which mean um, uh, three plus proteinuria for three days or a protein creatine ratio uh, protein creatine ratio more than 100 gram per millimole. Uh, and bare DNA function uh, for sure is a very important uh, and, uh, cause for a referral. Um, when you are going to refer to a rheumatologist in here, uh, uh, we refer to, uh, to a rheumatologist if there is atypical or rapidly evolving rash. Okay. Uh, uh, when you are happy to discharge the this patient and keep him on follow up, uh, informed parents' uh, uh, condition may fluctuate for several months. 
um, for several months, but recurrence rare uh, once settled properly. Okay, so you have to inform the parents that it's not the end. Um, once he gets um, very well, he is improving, you have to inform them th that um, this condition can be fluctuating, he, uh, he may get worse, he may get complication, he may get improved um, for several months, um, but the recurrence uh, rate is, re is rare. A very rare risk of renal failure, hence importance of monitoring of urine. Seek medical advice if child develops headache, uh, BR bleeding, or severe abdominal pain. You have to inform them about the red flags, uh, which are headache, uh, beer rectal bleeding, or if you got severe abdominal pain. Uh, uncomplicated HSP, uh, he will follow with a GP follow-up as above. Uh, discharge from GB follow up if your analysis and blood pressure normal six months after the onset. Um, okay, doctors, we have finished the uh, Nuxlambirbra guideline from the Green Book um, UK guidelines. Um, I wish you uh, enjoy this guideline and, uh, and thank you for watching.